You're right, everyone. Hello, I'm Libby. And I'm Lola. And we're filming for you from the Gold Coast on Yugambeh, Bunjalung country. We've been asked to do a workshop for you. So, because we've been doing a lot of self-portraits during this time of COVID-19, we thought we'd explore that again with you today. We've been doing a lot of art during COVID, haven't we, Lola? Yeah. Hmm, what else have we been doing? Um, well... I broke my toe. You broke your toe, yeah, that's right. Whilst we were making art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or running the dog. Yeah. Namala's our new puppy. Namala is a Yogambe word that means embrace. Embrace means hug. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was big, wasn't it, when we went to the hospital? There was a few new rules and stuff, wasn't there? Yeah. What were they? They were only one person can come in with the patient. But we had to break that one, didn't we? Because I had a brother and my mum. My brother and my mum and my brother couldn't go anywhere, so he had to come. Yeah. But the other doctors were fine with it. It was just this one. Wasn't very fine with it, hey? She was kind of mean. <laughs> And we've been making a... Well, last year we went on a trip to the Murray-Darling Basin and we've been making a work to finalise that. It was supposed to be exhibited in Melbourne, but now it's going online. And so we've been making it together. It's called Dad's Dream Dabble Bung Broken Water. And it's about water theft and how um, many of our rivers and ecosystems in Australia are being depleted because of over extraction of water, hey? Yeah. So Lola's been helping me. So most of that's been filming and projecting, hey? I don't draw a lot. I've been practicing drawing during COVID, hey? Yeah. But my work actually has a lot of self-portraiture in it because I often film myself and I kind of am a subject in my work and it's about my relationship with with my country and the world and issues that affect me. And the good thing about a self-portrait is you are the author of yourself. So quite often when our pictures get taken, uh, we might not always have control over how they're used. And historically, um, that's happened a lot, particularly to women and indigenous people where our images are used in ways that we wouldn't use them if we were the authors or we had control over them. It can be anything, it can be an ex, doesn't have to be a picture of you, it can be an idea about how you feel. And like that, if, yeah. Like if you feel like a bird one day, you could show yourself as a bird. You could. So when we draw a self-portrait, it's about how we want to see ourselves. So that's what we're going to do today. We've decided, Lola and I, that we're going to use, take a picture of ourselves and then take that image and get inspired from that. But you can also just think about who you are. You can close your eyes and imagine how you feel or how you think. And that can go on the paper and that can be a self-portrait too. It's just an expression of who you are. And usually we touch our faces to feel our, um, what's it called? Features. Fe to feel our features. But can't do that because germs. Hmm. So we are going to get a picture of ourselves and then put on some music and just basically create. So we don't know what's going to happen. We like to dive in and not do any preparation. So we go straight in with the black pens and paints and with the... Um, with the pastels without pencils because we like to be free and just see what comes so that's what we're gonna do i like to use these water pastels you can tell they've been used 
very nicely. Um, but I like them because you can like mix and match. And if you get a color wrong and you paint it down already, you can just grab some more, grab some water and a paintbrush, and just paint some water on your canvas or whatever you're working on but you can use pencils you can collage you can use felt pens you can use whatever you like using these micador soft pastels because i find that i because i don't draw a lot i find them very forgiving and with this um spray mat I can work over the top of them if I spray that at regular intervals outside because it's quite stinky. Blue hands. I know. So, do you want to show them what you did? Yeah. Can I tell the story first? Yeah. So I was like just doing copying a photo, and then I got really upset because I couldn't match my skin tone. Because I'm like a perfectionist. I like to be perfect all the time when I'm drawing or just doing anything. So. I just went with it and tried to match it up and I was like, no, I'm just gonna do different colors of skin tone. And then I started splattering some stuff on the background and then I, and then I started feeling like, you know what, I'm actually just gonna put it everywhere. And then I painted my hand like purple and blue so I could put it on the shirt. And the hair's a bit orange, but yeah, I'm happy with it. And the moral of the story is it's enough to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And this is mine. 
And I felt the same. I was frustrated. My head was saying that I can't draw. But um, I kept pushing through and I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, I'm just going to keep, keep practicing. But it feels good to finish, doesn't it? So pretty much just that's what art's about for us, hey. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'm Smith.